What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I am a uh, progressive specialist playing Risk Global Domination on PC. Uh, today, we are going to do a stream of a bunch of tournament semifinal practice games. The settings for these games are Moscow Advanced, Progressive, Auto Setup, 60 Second Turns, True Random Dice, Blizzards are on, Fog of War is on, and Expert AI Difficulty. So we have, um, we're going to have no bots in this game because it's a 12 player semifinal, so I'm going to want to try and get um, a full game if at all possible. <laughs> Sir Tyler is in the chat and he's saying he'll go audio only so it'll be cheating less. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Let's see if we can get three more players in here. Oh, Zarep's down. Nice. Nice. Okay, we need two more. I know Cosmic is down. And uh, let's just go into the game. Looks like Papa Duck is down, so we'll save we'll save one last spot for Cosmic, and I will ask him when he's ready, just so that we don't have to lose a spot. One last spot for you, Cosmic. You know when. Okay, so uh, a couple of things for these settings that I have noticed. Um, we have True Random Dice and Fog on, so the game is a lot more careful than your regular progressive game on a large board. Let me just make sure Cosmic is around because he was the entire impetus for these settings. All right, hop in now. Let's do it. Ready to go, bud. Yeah, go. And then we'll start the game. Everyone but myself is actually in round six here, so. Oh, hey, Finley, how's it going? Finley's going to watch this uh, this practice game as well. I'm going to probably try and play a few. I'll try a few tonight. Is it the right code? K67ZJ. Let's get them in here. like there's one more spot. Come on, cowboy. Let's get this show on the road. All right, and here we go. So how's everybody doing tonight? I want to play a couple of these settings because I want to get the set. Oh, hey, Polynax, how's it going? Get wrecked, son! <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. How's it going, man? Okay, so Zarep is in the first position. And this is what Zarep's record looks like 1,400 games played, 567 hours, 530 to 372. What can I see of Zarep? I can see a bunch of two stacks. I have no representation in the top of the board. Something to note. I'm going to want to maybe migrate that way. Um, another thing to pay attention to is how the continents break down in this map. So, 
coming in, Reg? Are you going to help me win at Moscow? What do you think? Hmm? I'm going to help? You're going to be a good boy? Hi, right, buddy. Okay. So the con is you have a three for three off to the side. Sir Tyler is in the second position, playing a really, really impressive tournament so far. I'm a big fan of what he's been doing, and he pops out right next to me. I have almost this entire continent, don't I? Well, maybe I should just finish that. The problem is, I know, it's a plus six and two blizzards? Yeah, I think I have enough occupation here to actually take that continent and guard it. So this this breaks, this blizzard here breaks the outer ring. Um, Curls, uh, what's happening, bud? Doing pretty good, man. Uh, I'm just going to do a bunch of tourney practice tonight for those who might want to enjoy and maybe get a little better. In the third position, my 2v2 partner, Cosmic Cowboy, and this is what their record looks like. 226 hours, 213 to 151, and 69 play with friends wins at the moment. What's up, Drew? What's happening? Yeah, these blizzards are interesting, aren't they? They definitely affect this map. I have uh, quite an interesting start. Reginald, if you're going to sit, please sit. Thank you. Velocity in the fourth position. Also doing very well this tournament. This is what Velocity's record looks like. 265 hours, 251 to 396. I'm in the fifth position, and last is Papa Duck. And this is what Papa Duck's record looks like. Drew, hosting the stream. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. My buddy Reginald here helping me out. Okay, so I gotta pop two, I gotta pop two stacks. Um... I can do that. I can do that all day. Okay. And Pop Duck's last act, so he gets the six reinforcement. So Tyler says there's a weird territory that connects to eight territories. That's a blizzard two. Which weird one is that? One, two, three. This one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the territory is called nothing because it has a blizzard on it. But, uh, oh, Papa Duck's not happy. I'm sorry to see that Papa Duck is not happy. But there's little I can do about the frowny face. Who is, who are these people crying the blues anyways? How are you doing today, Reg? Did you have a nice day? It's been really warm out finally, so... My cats have been enjoying the weather. Curls are making an awesome bot, yeah. An impressing harmless. Did Curls make a bot? Okay, so we move on to the second turn. Zeref wants to place inside. Hey, excuse me. And and move out. Right. What happened to his stack? I'm confused. All right. I bet you Sir Tyler, because he's listening to the stream, knows what I'm planning. But maybe we can be good neighbors about that. That also skews the results. Drew, what are these uh, girl emojis you're putting in the chat? What are they? I love the Drew emotes, man. So good. <laughs> That's Cassie. Oh, you, you made a Cassie emote, or it's already been made? I should get my own emote. Should be a fancy boy just like you. This is from Cassie's channel. Okay, cool. Link me, please. And Papa Duck is thinking, how cool are these new emotes? I love them. A little frustrated face. Oh yeah, so Tyler's giggling. I like that one too. He 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 he. Okay. I like what is happening so far this game. I'm gonna maintain these exclave after I occupy this part of the board, which I'm just about to do. And that is a good second turn for me. I'm 
lying. She doesn't do hot tub streams. She does old retro games. Oh, like what? I love retro games. That's my jam, man. Larry Eric says, is this game fixed? No. So the setting, these are the round six uh, free-for-all tournament settings, the semifinals. Uh, Moscow, advanced, progressive, 60-second turns. Uh, true random dice, fog is on, blizzards are on. So you got to be a little bit more conservative because of blizzards and true random than what you would normally do with your typical prog game. And who can I see? I can only see a section of this board. I'm really going to want to maintain this three and maybe gravitate it that way. So I have occupation in the north. These two blizzards cut off the outer ring. The outer ring you can really use to move a, move around uh, the, the Moscow map really quickly. Drew says play right now. Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines. Donkey Kong 64 Conquers Bad Fur Day Banjo Kazooie. Oh, I love the 64 stuff, man. I love the 64 stuff. Yeah, I know I messaged you at 2 a.m. I may or may not have had some uh, performance-enhancing substances, and I wanted to see if you were still up <laughs> and wanted to play with me. But I ended up playing with a, a viewer of my channel who um, is, is the only person to my knowledge that has... Yeah, it is right. The only person to my knowledge that has watched my entire show so I played with them a fixed game until, I don't know, something like 4.30 in the morning, and then I got too tired. And not only because it was fixed, but because it was 4.30 in the morning. So I had to dip out. What's HSG? Okay, so now everybody knows I have that continent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Make sure I get a little take. Make sure I can guard my position. There we go. You just came in, buddy. You want to go out now? Come here. Go ahead. You want to go? Go ahead, please. All right. Pete, do you have Instagram? <laughs> no, man. I mean, I do, but I basically have two photos of my cat on it. I don't think uh, Instagram is for me. I would end up just looking at uh, pics and videos of workout chicks all the time, and that's, uh, you know, well, f well fun. Um, <laughs> I probably have better things to do with my time. So, Do you actually post vids of you working out? Okay, I will. I'll, I'll go look at your Instagram story at some point. All right, so Tyler is rolling manually because why not? It's true random. Doesn't change. Okay. Papa Dux throws up the thanks. Sometimes you can spam the emotes and, uh, you know, confuse people with the fog. Yeah, you laughing? You think it's funny? <laughs> I think it's funny, too. Go look at Drew's Insta story. All right, I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see any videos of you working out, guy. See videos of you next to some kind of crazy robot, though. Did you make a robot, Drew? Oh, hey, Bull, what's up? Bull's watching the Twitch stream. How you doing, man? I'm playing some uh, semi-final tourney practice tonight, so if you want to get in on a game, you know, you're very welcome. I'd love to play you. And know maybe that I could have fared against you in the semis had that been the way the cookie crumbled. Yeah. 
click my profile icon. Why, Drew? Oh, it's a video you... Okay, so we have a video of Drew working out. He says, damn, I'm looking big. You look big, my friend. The big. I'm so jealous of anyone who can go to the fucking gym right now. I can't even tell you. You're just going to get me all riled up for nothing. <sighs> Anyways. Papa Duck puts a fly stack next to me. I think that's not going to live very long. <sighs> yeah. Good. Pete, how do you look so hench without going to the gym? So I have a gym in my basement. Um, hey, Parlox. <laughs> I have a gym in my basement. It's pretty comprehensive. I can do deadlifts. I, I got a squat rack um, right before the winter. So we haven't been able to go to the gym in Toronto except for maybe a week or two uh, since Christmas. And... I'm really grateful that I was able to, to figure out, like, I, have, I can do bench, I can do squat, I can do deadlift in my basement. And then everything else is just more aesthetics. And, hey, I'm all about aesthetics, but, um, all right. Parlox is mad that I didn't tell him before I was going live. Doesn't Twitch remind people that I'm going live anyways? Finley's reminding everyone to kill Pete. Yeah, and uh, it says, no you. All right, well, the no you chain is going on. Thanks, thanks for the reminder, guys. As if you all don't know to kill Pete. Word on the street, kill Pete. Okay. All right, so we're in turn four right now. Cowboy got the first card, so he'll be first to match. Good to know. Make some emotes. Yeah. Well, why don't I... Yeah, exactly. Why aren't you uh, following me, Parlox? Then you get the inside scoop. Um, maybe I skip a card, too, depending on what Velocity does. Because I don't want to get the second earliest match. <sighs> yeah, well, if you are following me and you're yelling, why don't you get notified that you're one of my first followers? You're such a follower, Parallax. Oh, the bull! Thank you, the bull. Thank you very much. All right. I'm so glad people want to hang out with me while we play. And, Bull, if you're, if you're into another uh, practice game for the round six settings. Um, I'll, I'll give you first crack in a slot um, for next game if, if you want to, man. Papa Duck is not feeling the situation. Okay, so I move there. I can guard on two fronts so I can consolidate there. I'll put two troops here. I'll put two troops, three troops there. So I have a five stack and six stack exterior to my position. Yeah, that looks good. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Feels like I just got lucky with the blizzards. Prolox, why are you yelling on my Twitch chat, my friend? I didn't get notified because it only notifies on my phone and it's very flooded with notifications. Upset, 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 Parlox. You won't be able to play tonight? Okay, man, no worries. Just wanted to throw the offer out to the bull, because I know you're uh, you're still alive in the in the semis too. So I want everyone to get their cracks at getting practice in. <laughs> Dude, are you disrespecting me? No, I would never disrespect you, Parlox. You're my buddy. I got nothing but love for the old Parlox. All right, so I'm going to get the small match, but I don't care because I'm doing okay in terms of troops. Um, we're going to move into the second matching sequence before I'm really worried about dying of death to any of these guys because I just got so lucky as far as the troops go. So Cowboy putting in six. Does Cowboy have the three for three off, off to the side here? Could be. I must say, I'm pretty happy with how this game is going for me so far. If I was alive in the tournament, I would say you can't really do much better than that, eh? Uh, 
Okay, so Velocity has the match now, puts in the 6, I think. Hey, what's up, the General? How's it going? Parallax says, in the future, either you tell me about every important update or we're breaking up. I didn't even know we were together. Uh, it is a great day today. Yes, I agree. So Tyler says, I have a terrible habit of tapping away the screen that shows you how many troops people are putting in. Me too. It's quite an instinct that you have to get past when you're playing Fog. You want that uh, information? <laughs> Finley says, I have an idea. Okay, what's the idea? Cowboy's laughing. Okay. Don't you stick your tongue out at me, sir. Alright, feeling good still. Love and life. Papa Duck gets the 10. And what's he going to do with it? Let Parlux in the next game and everyone suicide on him. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like a useful... Uh, don't hack my risk and make me... You can't. I double dare you to hack my risk and kind of make me a novice. That'd be great. I would have to rank up again. I would get all that satisfaction out of moving up the ranks that I missed out on for so long. Oh, Parlox is mad. Parlox is mad that I didn't tell him I was going live. I'm sorry, Parlox. Next time I won't forget that you are the most important person in the world. Grand novice. Yeah, exactly. Start again at, uh, at novice rank and just move up. Let's all remember um, that Parlox is the most important person in the world. Okay, so Sir Tali gets the big match yet again, putting in the 15. Okay. So now what I do, I think I do a, a variation of the inverse pyramid scheme at this point. Because uh, the semis, you, you have bounties, they are tracked, but um, it's, it's top three advance, so... Um, the real goal is not necessarily win the game or get the bounties, but come in top three. So because I've been given this position and because I'm feeling very strong, maybe overconfident, but we can we can handle that, I'm not incentivized to overextend. So I can actually occupy this fortress that I have even stronger with a hidden stack or something of that sort and let my opponents fight amongst themselves and make kills. I think that actually sounds ideal. And yeah, because the semis are 12, that's two groups of six, we're not going to play with a bot. We're going to play with all humans, if at all possible. Dokie. So let's put a couple of troops exterior to my position. Now, does this territory connect to that eight? I wonder. No, it doesn't. All right. That is fine by me. Papa Duck's still not feeling it. <laughs> Sorry, man. Nothing personal. Sorry, Pete, but I gotta go. Yeah, no worries, dude. You can hang out with me for as long as you want. Or sleep. I know you need to sleep. Do I plan on making a how-to-play risk video? Sure. Sure, I'll make a how-to-play. When you say you suck, um, what are we talking? Like... How can I help you? You need to understand the basic mechanics of the game, or... Like, do you still not understand the rules? 
A dare you to attack someone's big stack with true random. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take the dare when, when it is necessary for me to do so, but not before. It will be Parlox and Olive versus Pete and Cowboy in the tourney. It will be legendary. Yeah, I mean, that's coming up this week. Me and Cowboy have to face off against Parlox and Olive. Um, I wish them a lot of luck. You know, I hope we can play our best and, you know, we'll see who, who takes uh, it takes down ultimately. Yeah, I agree, Finley. Our five-a-side team is stacked. Uh, <laughs> anyone anyone who's working with Zarep, uh, you know, Zarep's one of the most dominant players I've ever seen, so it's nice to have him on our side. Okay, so my here says, usually when I play fix, people tend to attack my big stacks a lot. I want to know if I'm being too aggressive. Well, I'm not the guy to help you with fixed. I think champ's content is far more useful, but, you know, I'd be happy to give you my two cents on that. I'm much more of a progressive guy, personally. So, my game is a lot about timing and kills, and less so about um, tactical negotiation and whatnot. And that's a real trick. When you're playing fixed, are you playing fixed with uh, with alliances or no? Okay, velocity gets the twenty five. I feel like this is absolutely my game to lose. I would have to fuck this up now. I'm happy to let these guys fight amongst themselves and not overextend. I have two exterior 15 stacks. Putting in 31. And we'll start building our reserve. Now we're talking. Gotta say, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances this time around. Maybe it's a... Oh, take it easy, Finley. Nice to see you, man. Um, yeah, usually when I do a practice video, I have uh, something less than an, an absolutely dominant game. But if I had this game in the real tourney, I don't think... Yeah, there's nothing I could do <laughs> really to screw this up at, at my level of understanding. What I'm going, to, what I'm waiting for now is I'm waiting to see somebody try to kill somebody else, and if they fail, you get that free value. And uh, failure to make kills on these settings is more likely because of the fog and because of the true random. Ah, oh, Mr. Risk Taker, how's it going, Death Stare? I'm good. What is up with you? How's it going, brother man? All right, so Tyler putting in three. Can see three of his positions, and everyone is just slowly moving away from where I'm at. Oh, look out! Curls says it's Death Stare. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Moving away is just a coincidence. I don't blame you. It's back to rank 170. Have you, Death Star, have you ever been, uh, you've been top 100, right? Velocity putting in three. Okay, so I can see his position there. See his position there. Is Velocity trying to hit Cowboy?
It's a lot of waiting, waiting and seeing, but since I have this, I don't have to overextend. I can keep reinforcing this uh, ton that I have each turn. Okay, so I'll put half my reinforcement here, but I'll put the rest there. I just get a couple of takes. going for Sir Tyler. All right. Let's see it. Oh, he's just removing a couple of positions because Sir Tyler's next to match. Okay. No, he's going for Sir Tyler. Okay. Let's see if he can do it. Still punch through his arrows. 13. <laughs> Do the gods of true random smile upon you? He's going to go for it. Yep. Six on eight. And he's rolling. I mean, it's true random. You don't need to slow roll. <laughs> it's a blitz, and, blitz and slow roll the same in true random, right? Fail. Zareb got it. Zareb gets the value. First kill on Sir Tyler. Okay, what's Zareb putting in for his gift? Forty-five? Okay. This is the moment in the game where I watch my opponents kill each other. You gonna rank up while watching? Good idea. Good idea, Death Stare. Might as well, eh? Yeah, I wonder how you found that stack. Yeah, exactly. GG, Sir Tyler. Well done, man. Zareb's going for uh, Papa Doc now. Okay. So I will finally get to see what's on this side of the board. Okay. Looks like Cowboy is going for. See how we do in this end game. Okay, velocity puts in the fifty. Which means I get the fifty-five. I bet you I can do a whole lot with fifty-five. I think he's gonna get Papa Duck. And since everyone is dancing around me, I yeah, I think Papa Duck dies. Velocity won't match in turn. Velocity will be holding four cards just like Cowboy. So I have three opponents remaining. Zarep has the only... Zarep is the only player who um, would give me an in-turn match if I get him. And let's see if I can get him. All right, first question. Who is over here? Cowboy. Okay. Second question, where is Zareb? Okay. Can I do a 7 on 11? This is the whole thing. 
So now Zerp is going to eat. There's another stack of right. He's going to eat cowboy. Yes. Perfect. Where's the rest of cowboy? Can't find him. Force some punch through velocity. Yep. Okay. He'll find cowboy and he'll match again. I'm confident. And unless cowboy doesn't have a match on four. Okay, okay, okay. So cowboy has a match on four. We assume. We assume. All right, 65 coming in. Velocity's the only player hiding inside of me. So Cowboy's either up here or up there, one of those two spots. Is it ever close, eh? I'm super excited to see what Velocity does on his turn, because that will determine what I do. sense. Okay, Velocity doesn't have a match, uh, so he goes deep into the recesses of my structure. I predict that Cowboy has a large stack somewhere. See what's going on. Velocity's next to match. And unless Zerp has a match on three, I think the outcome is decided. Cool. Do I want you to jump in the next game or am I full? I'm going to throw up the code in uh, tourney practice. So. People who are alive in the tourney can get a, a slot, but I mean, you're you're welcome to play too, Carl. So, this is the um, semi-final tournament settings, and I just want to play with Cowboy and Velocity a bunch, um, and Ray if she's around. But other people are are totally welcome to join us as well. Uh, for some, go get burgers and play on your phone wasn't the best idea. Yeah, Cowboy, I agree. <laughs> Greasy fingers, eh? All right, what's Velocity up to? Velocity is trying to push his advantage and occupy most of the board. I don't think he has quite enough time to get Zarep. Punch through my 35! Oh, Cowboy is now spectating, so we get his, uh, get his animation again. Oh, he's going for it! You don't have time! You don't have time! Oh, he got him just in the nick of time! All right, well done, Velocity! Okay, so Velocity did kill Zarep. He matches again. Can he kill me? Does he have enough time? He gets the 75. This is a Pete versus Velocity endgame. Well played, man. Well played, well played. Very exciting. Okay, let's see if I can take it. Let's see if I can take this game. Okay. 
faster than velocity. Because we all know about velocity. It's pretty fast, right? I'm basically trying to capture the entire board and forcing him to run around me. Or as much of the board as I can. Okay. So I have 58. He has slightly more troops and he's next to match. I think velocity beats me. Excellent. Excellent work, sir. And it'll be at least two turns until I can match in. So, I think he's got me. GG, brother man. He needs a little bit more speed, but he he has overwhelming advantage, so I, I think there's no way I can really come back. Pete, why hit Zerub stack? I was trying to kill him. I was actually trying to kill Zerub, so that's the reason. Um. All right, what context does we also occupy? This one, that one. Oh, there, there you go. That's true random for you. I lose all my troops. Okay, he's got me this turn. Now Velocity just cleans me up. And we'll call it a night. And I do not have a match on 30, so give him a good game. bring it home. Oh, 69 coming in. This map is tough. Yeah, it's tough with, uh, it's tough with fog particularly. Yeah, blizzards too. I had some sweet blizzards. I really fucked up by overextending. I could have just sat there and, uh, and probably won a lot easier. Okay, so I'm going to sign off from, uh, YouTube, but I'll keep streaming on Twitch so we can play a couple of more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it informative and entertaining. Um, and if you're still alive in the tournament, good luck in the semis. I hope you do your best. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck. All right, let's throw up another one. Mm -hmm.